everyone, my name is Miss Jackie and I work with the Pasadena Symphony and I'm putting together some videos for you guys so you can keep practicing at home while we're away from school. Okay, so this video we're gonna, it's a little bit different, we're gonna work on our body and getting our body ready to play our instrument. So we're gonna do some stretching and then we're gonna do some breathing exercises, which sometimes we forget, but they're super important, especially for us wind players. We really need to be able to breathe properly so we can get really beautiful sounds out of our instruments. If we're not breathing, we're not gonna sound very good, okay? So, it sounds a little bit silly and some of the things I ask you to do today are kind of silly, but you're at home with your family or on your own, you'll be fine. No one's gonna be giggling at you too much. You can also ask them to do it with you if they do. Okay, so first we're gonna start with some stretches. Now stretches are really important because when we play our instrument, it's actually really physical, okay? So if we're not stretched out properly, we can really hurt ourselves, okay? So first thing, we're just going to start with our head. So very slowly, I want you to just rotate on your neck. And while you're doing this, make sure that your feet, both feet are flat on the ground, that you're not on one leg, that you're equal on both legs. And then switch and go the other way. Really nice and slow. Cool. Now we're going to move down to our shoulders. So really everything slow. Just lift and lower. And then pull it forward this way the other way. Good. Moving on to our arms now. Okay, I want you to take one in back of your head. You're going to pull down on it. And take a deep breath and release. Switch your arms. Deep breath in and breathe out. Good. Now one arm in front. And this is gonna stretch out. This is stretching out our muscles here, which is good, especially for those of you that play like woodwind instruments that you need a lot of, you gotta move your fingers a lot. And the other one as well. Good, and then stretch across. Deep breath in, and out. Open up, go the other way, other arm across. Deep breath in, and out. Good, now we're gonna move down to our torso. We're just gonna rotate really slowly. <laughs> and try and keep your hips and your lower body facing forward, trying to have it be just your upper body. Okay, now you can go ahead and move your lower body with your upper body. Okay, now we're getting to my favorite one. I want you to do a stretch really high, stretch all the way up to the ceiling, stretch as far as you can. Good, and press your feet into the ground, reach all the way down with your toes like you're a tree. Stretch, 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 stretch. And then you're gonna let out a deep sigh like this. <sighs> can you do that with me? <sighs> Good. And now we're going to bend all the way down to the ground and touch our toes or as close to your toes as you can be. And while you're down here, take a nice deep breath in and then let it out. And when you breathe out, you should notice that you're able to go a little bit further. Take another deep breath in and out. Good. One more big stretch up to the ceiling, and release, <sighs> good, okay, so those are our stretches. So now we're gonna get into our breathing. So breathing's really important, guys, because if we don't breathe correctly, we can't get a good sound on our instruments, okay? Now the trickiest part, what usually happens is when we take a deep breath in, everyone take a deep breath in with me. <sighs> How many of you noticed this happened to your shoulders? If this is happening, that's not actually supposed to happen. Because guess what? Our lungs aren't up here. Our lungs are down in this area of our bellies, okay? So when we're doing this, it's not doing anything. It's just causing problems. Instead, when you take a deep breath in, I'm going to stand to the side so you can see, we should see it. you expand this way. So watch me. Right? Like I just ate a really big lunch. Okay? 
So take a deep breath in and you want to see if you can get your stomach to expand rather than shoulders. So can you try that? Just take a deep breath in see if you can get your stomach this time. Put a hand here too. That'll help so you can feel it. Now, if you're still struggling, because it's kind of tricky at first to get, when we yawn, it's actually the same feeling as what we're supposed to be. So it's going to take a few times, but give yourselves a few yawns. So go ahead and try and yawn. Oh, do it again. Watch my stomach this time while I yawn. Do you feel that nice, relaxed, you get so much air? That's what it should be when we breathe in for our instruments. Okay, It's a little different than what we normally do. So we're going to do a few exercises to help with our breathing. They're kind of silly, so I'm going to say that ahead of time, but they really do help, so trust me with this. Okay. So the first one that we're going to do is what I want you to do is take your hand, you're going to make like a karate chop, and we're going to put it in front of our mouth, just halfway on through our lips. And I want you to take a deep breath in. Listen first. See if you can make that sound. Okay, now I want you to listen again, and I want you to make sure that it's this sound. Listen closely. Not this sound. Do you hear the difference? The second one's really high and it's tight. That means if that's what it sounds like, then everything in here is too tight. It's too closed. If you get this sound, that nice low deep sound, that means you're doing it correctly. So go ahead, pause the video and practice that on your own. Try and get that nice deep sound. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in for two with that nice deep sound here, and then we're going to breathe out for four. And when we breathe out, it's going to go like this. You're going to breathe out with those, and you're going to see if you can hit your hand. So watch me do it first. It goes like this. Ready, and... And if you're doing it correctly, you're going to feel the air on your hand. Okay, you're going to feel it on your hand. So we're going to breathe in for two. I'm going to set my metronome so we can have a beat. In for two, and then we're going to be breathe out for four. Okay, ready? One, two, ready, and. is we're going to breathe in for four, and when we're breathing in, we're going to raise our hands above our heads like this, and then breathe out for four. And when we breathe out, our hands are going to come down. Now, you want to try and keep this nice and even, and your breath nice and even. So don't fill up on the first beat. Don't go, and then stand there for three beats. It should be just a full four beats in, four beats out. Make sure you have enough room for your arms. One, two, breathe in and. Check in with yourself. Make sure that you're feeling it breathing all the way to your belly, that you're not doing these type of movements, that you're breathing here, that you're relaxed, that you're not filling up too early. Okay? I'm going to challenge you now. We're going to breathe in for eight and out for eight. So that means when we're breathing in, one, two, three, four, our arms are moving half as fast and same with our air. You have to make it last twice as long. Okay, so it's a little bit harder. Here we go. Sitting nice and straight and tall. Deep breaths to our bellies. Two, ready, and. Now, did you notice when I was coming out, I didn't do it really evenly. Huh, I got here and then I was like, oh, I have to go fast. Okay, how many of you also either filled up too fast or exhaled too fast. OK, 
okay? If you did, see if you can make it better this time. See if you can make it last longer. Okay, let's try again. One, two, in for eight. Here we go. My fault. One more time. You notice I made a mistake that time? Yeah. It's totally okay if you do that. That just means you're going to go back and try again. It's totally fine to make those mistakes. It's that you notice them that's super important. Okay, guys, so I'm going to come back a little bit later with some more breathing things for you guys to do. But good luck.